Hello guys, right, um, this uh, is a request for the settings on the all averages, but what I'm going to do is make a video about all the indicators on here so I don't have to keep repeating myself. M almost all of them I think can be found on Forex Factory. So first off I'll do the all averages settings, so in fact no that doesn't uh, help, I'm going to open that up. Why won't it let me open that? Ah, so um, yeah, all averages. Uh, MA period is eight on the hourly. Uh, method is one um, for EMA. Color mode you need to set to one so that you can change the colors. The rest of it I don't use, although there's loads of things that might be useful on there. I've never bothered playing with it. Um, how to set the colors just hit the color button and uh, then do that set them to what you want and the width obviously over here um, hourly 8 double it for the half hour so that's 16 and then quarter hour 15 minute chart you need uh, 32 and so on and so forth times it by um, 3 so 96 for the 5 minute and 480 for the 1 minute if memory serves me correct my calculations so that's uh, the all averages rest of the indicators on this chart you got uh, the daily range which is up here Peter E he's got a great thread on uh, Forex Factory you can get the uh, download that there and um, do the settings yourself from there. Uh, Pipsometer, that's that thing there. Again, free. Uh, THV candle, I don't really use that much, to be honest with you, but that's there. Uh, magnified market uh, price symbol, that's that one there. Spread is that one there. V line, you'll need to find that yourself because I put, I think it is L O, uh, London Open hyphen V line. Um, I put the uh, uh, exclamation mark on the front of it just so I can find it in the indicators quickly. Sweet spot gold, that's uh, uh, not showing on this chart at the moment, but uh, I'll have a look at that in a minute when I close this down. Done that, done that. Moving average, well, it's just a straight moving average. Um, FXI pivots, that's the pivots there. Very useful now, although I didn't use them much. Currency strength alert, that's that thing there. Um, useful, really useful. So uh, you need to uh, look for that on uh, Forex Factory. All of them are from Forex Factory. All averages is the one we talked about first off and the settings. Um, and you have to set them up on each different time frame, of course. So if you look at that, that's why it's 96 and the visualization is set to the M5. Okay, everything else as per the all averages uh, explanation first thing. TMT daily candle. Uh, hang on a sec, did I get one wrong there? Oh no, TMT daily candle is that one there, I've talked about that. Um, RSI histo alert is this one here. You need to set that one up as well, um, which I've customised. So uh, what have we got here, anything? I have it set to eight. The rest of it is pretty straightforward. One little thing that I wasn't aware of, which uh, um, one of the followers uh, here um, made me aware of, uh, Andy, I think it was, yeah, it was Andy. Uh, if you fix this, that's why you can't see the tops of the candles, they will, um, the bars rather. Some of them will just be all flat lined across the top there. So change that. Or take untick that because it's default ticked, and your bars will look uh, sensible. Other inputs, as I say, the eight colors. That's how I change my colors. You'll see some squiggly lines on there, yellow and blue. Um, I don't like them. No need for them. They might have a value, but not uh, nothing that I've found at the moment. And that's that. You set your thickness of your um, bars as you like. Buttons, separate window, this is this lot. 
with uh, these settings here for my personal choose which pairs you want you know if you copy that lot then you'll need to do that with a semicolon in between them um, and then the settings are uh, all pretty self explanatory 16 in a row here two 16s and 32 there I, I've got that just so it looks tidy some of them I don't use uh, horizontal shift self-explanatory vertical shift width of buttons and so on and so forth I don't think there's anything else oh just the colors the two colors there or four colors if you include the two black ones that's that recent candles that's something I have on the bottom of the chart there so that's the very last one so I can close this now I was going to show you sweet spot gold wasn't I so let's go down to 15 minute chart and that's the sweet spot gold indicator showing the 50 levels on there I think I've got it on the 30 no I haven't 50 levels on there and I've set it to blue for the uh, round numbers not sure if I've uh, I showed you the settings of that so I might as well then we're done uh, that's the settings I've got on there so pretty self-explanatory um, main level 100 uh, sub levels 50 if you're using this on the um, on the uh, indices or gold uh, gold I like my lane main level at 500 and my sub level at 250 and the indices you'll have to play around with that uh, because I'm not a great indices trader I think I've got it set to two and a half thousand uh, as the minor level on um, DAX DE30 and 5000 on the uh, main level but you can have a play around with that because uh, I don't really use those levels so much in uh, in the indices so that's all the indicators covered don't think this oh recent candles yeah the only reason I've got that there although I have used it in the past and like it a lot is this business going on here You can look at the different time frames all on one um, uh, indicator window if you like. And it, the real reason I like it is just a quick reminder, because my I'm brain dead these days, of the pip value of a particular currency. So if you change it to pound yens for example, changes and obviously the uh, the um, thing. You, these number of candles in these blocks and uh, the size of them and so on and so forth and the number of time frames you have on here is all um, uh, variable according to what you want to set it up to on the settings but I'm not going to go into that now because the video is getting a bit long and um, and I don't want to, it to fail to save which often happens with the big videos so hopefully that answers all the questions about my indicators on here think I've covered everyone and uh, this should be suffice now to uh, cover you when you need to find where the indicators are they're all free they're all on Forex factory and uh, oh the v-line one that I said with the um, exclamation mark in front that's what these are here uh, that's the London uh, the American open and this is the UK open you can set it for any hours you want down to minutes in fact so it's quite useful and that's the lot. Oh, there was one more daily line boxes I didn't talk about. That's really, really good. But I have made a separate video for daily line boxes. Uh, so you can uh, have a look at that in the playlists on my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.